What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm bringing you a pretty special video. So I have my friend AD here and he's managed to do an incredible amount of sales in about two or three months that he's been drop shipping. So um, I'm really excited to share his story and really just get his perspective on like making, you know, basically 5k in like a day in about two months. So that's pretty incredible. And um, he's also only 17 years old. So he's definitely got a long way to go, especially if he's been doing this after like two or three months. So let's go ahead and hop right into the video. All right, so like I said, he was able to hit over $100,000 in about two and a half months drop shipping, uh, which is absolutely incredible. So um, if you just wanna show them uh, your numbers really quickly for all the doubters out there but um he actually hit about five thousand dollars in two months not even really yeah. um so that's pretty crazy i definitely was not able to do that when i first started drop shipping and i think um everyone's gonna be curious how you were so you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and like how you got into drop shipping basically i was just on youtube and i just saw a bunch of youtube ads for drop shipping and then I just started looking at a bunch of people's videos. The first person I really looked at was Tanner Plain's videos. I just I like binge watched all of his videos and I was like this young kid is doing that. And then I kind of gave up for a while. Um, I just said I was in a learning phase, didn't do much. And then I finally just made a store and just kept trying new things. And it kind of just happened. So I made my first store about six months ago with a buddy of mine. We actually made an Apex Legends store when the game first came out and it completely failed. Like we were probably running, maybe we probably ran like two influencer ads total and it just completely failed. So we kind of stopped that for a while and I got back into it probably around like three months ago. When I got back into it, I created a one product store for teeth whitening, but I never ended up promoting it because I thought it was too saturated. So then I started another one product store for a product that I saw was trending and it wasn't as saturated, it was kind of new to everything. So in the month of July, I did about $6,000 in revenue and then it kind of blew up in August. I did around 23,000 in revenue and then the month of September, I did 78,000 in revenue. It would have been around 100,000, but on the 22nd of September, my ad account got disabled and then it turned into a permanent disable. But we're working on getting it back in, at the moment. So I know we didn't talk much about like your background and like what, start, what was before e-commerce, but like what made you want to be self-employed? What made you want to be an entrepreneur? So I started doing YouTube when I was about 14. And at the same time, my dad made me get a job when I was 14 years old. I worked until recently. And I always just liked the concept of making money on your own, like not having a boss and just doing your hours, doing your thing. So more like the freedom of it and yeah. not really like anything else, I guess. That, that was like the main factor for you. Yes, like the freedom 100% because like since I've been working, like I kind of figured out that I don't want to work for someone else. Yeah, for sure. Like I want to be the boss. I don't want to be the employees. I want to have employees. And boss them around. Basically. <laughs> yeah. No, I get what you mean. And like, it's like you were saying, like definitely once you start to like experience what it feels like to like, you know, control your your life, I guess, and your work, um, then you don't want to go back. And I feel like anyone who is like, you know, they do make some money, like they're never gonna want to have a job again. Oh, a hundred percent. It only drives you more. Yeah. Like when I first started e-com, when I had my job, like only thing I wanted was to quit my job. Like I would work nonstop after work, before work. I would never quit going. And like, it was just the biggest piece of motivation was just to quit your job and just do it full time and put your all into it. Yeah, and you actually were able to quit your job. What, just 
a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, it was about a month ago. I ended up quitting my job, and I never plan on getting another job again. That's crazy. A couple months into it, this guy quit his job. I was really lucky. I never had to work for someone because I started so early, but like, I, I can definitely see what you're saying. Like, especially with school, like you want to put your 100%, like you're all into your business and like every other thing that takes up your time, like you want to eliminate out of your life. So I totally get what you're saying. Man. Yeah. All right, so what kind of an effect has like, I know we were talking about this yesterday, but like have, making a large amount of money in like a small period of time, especially like coming from, I guess, humble beginnings, you know, like what is, what does that meant to you? Like, what does that change? It changes a lot. It changes your whole perspective on money itself because you can see like the amount you can make and how fast you can actually make it due to like me having a job. Like the money I made in one month, it would probably have taken me at least two and a half years at the rate I was working at my current job. Like, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like it totally changes your perspective on like acquiring money. Like it's so like fast paced, I guess. And I think Shopify is one of the few businesses that you can start where you can literally scale to six figures in a month or two. Nowadays, it's so easy to like literally have your own company. Like back then, like it would take lots and lots of startup costs. When Shopify, you only need about like $400 to get things going and turn, turn your life around. So like on you as a person, like have you seen any impacts on like, I don't know, your social life or your personal life in any way? Yeah, so you definitely, well in my case, I've definitely lost connections with like more of my social life just because I've put in like my all into this. Yeah. Like, like I'm determined to like get my goals and just like live the life that I want to live. And there are just some sacrifices you have to make. I mean, I'm not saying like lose all your friends, but definitely you can cut down things, like cut down the social medias you use. So you're not gonna be interacting as much with your social life, but keep people in your life that like are willing to be there for you when like you can't give them your all, you know? Yeah, I definitely agree. I feel like the like when you do kind of go in that like um, I don't know like when you're working so hard and you're kind of like not you know interacting with other people and the people that like want to stick around and like they, they, they care enough about you to like understand that you know it's not like personal like you're just working for yourself like yeah. that's like the kind of person that you can grow with and like you want to be around for the long term I guess. Yeah, they definitely understand that you want certain things in life and they're going to be there. When you get those things or when you're trying to get those things. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I know we talked a little bit about your Facebook ad problems earlier and like kind of how your ad account got disabled and like all, all those issues. Yeah. But, um, you know, that, that's starting back up and we're definitely getting some momentum going there. But, um, are there any other troubles, like problems that you ran into after scaling like so quickly? Yes, definitely. Um, I have a like standard teenager bank account and at least twice a day it'll get disabled. So, I mean, you always have to call them and then during the night, like Facebook, they don't get their money. So they're going to pause all your ads. I mean, it was hectic for a while. I finally got off a teenager bank account, but it's still not a business one. I haven't had as many troubles because I had to up my budget, but that's one of the biggest issues is the bank because everyone needs their money and they're gonna bill you no matter what. Yeah. And they're gonna, they're just gonna stop everything if you don't pay them, you know, they're gonna get it one way or another. Exactly, and like PayPal, like, I know they don't like scaling really quickly. Have you ran into any issues there? No, knock on wood. I have not run into any PayPal issues, 
besides I was underage, so I had to create a whole new one with my parents' information. Gotcha. And like, has Shopify said anything to you or like anything there? Yeah, so same thing with Shopify. It was just like my age problem. Like you can't be doing this stuff while you're a minor. It's just like you have to put your parents' information into it. So I ran into a few problems where my name was in there and I couldn't give them my social security because it would have shut down my account. But it's just little hiccups here and there. I mean, nothing's ever gonna go perfect. You kind of figure out. Yeah, definitely. And like you were saying, like your age has really been like the biggest thing, not like the amount that you scared, which I guess is good. But I feel like people let age be like a deciding factor. Like you really don't have to wait till you're 18 to start a Shopify store no. or anything else. I mean, I feel, I feel like it should be common knowledge by now that like you, there's so many ways that you can get by it that it's, it's just not even a viable excuse anymore. But, um, I, so going back to Facebook, um, for all the people wondering, like what exactly happened when, I mean, I know we don't really know specifically, but like what really happened when everything kind of hit the fan? When everything went down, everything went with it, basically. I mean, Facebook was a huge component to my store. It was a huge key to getting numbers, a huge key for promoting. Because in my opinion, Instagram is a pain to try and promote on. Influencers are a real big pain. It had a big impact on everything because once one ad account got disabled, I kept making the same mistakes through a certain ad, which Facebook doesn't tell you which ad was disabled, but I've had multiple ad accounts recently disabled. So we have one ad account going right now and it hasn't been disabled yet, cross our fingers, and we're just gonna hope for the best. And uh, I think we're gonna get back up to those four or five. Oh, days? for sure. Probably for like sure. tomorrow, we'll be at 5K. Yeah, 10K the next day? Of course. I bet. <laughs> so, um, what do you really think? Like, I know this isn't your first store, but what do you think has, like, been one of the deciding factors of your success? Like, do you think it's just the product, or do you think you have, like, superior marketing to your competitors? Or, like, what do you really think made you, like, you know, this successful, I guess? Definitely a huge factor is that it is a trending product. So when there is a trending product, like it will go crazy. Like the numbers are gonna be bigger than any. Like more stable product, I guess. Like, yeah, more like more of a long-term product. Yeah. It's gonna, the numbers are gonna be bigger, but it's not gonna last as long. So you're, you're gonna have to make the money while it's there. Yeah, that's it, so much. it won't be around forever but it'll be good while it's there yeah i feel like that's probably like the easiest way to get started like eventually you're probably gonna want something more long term but like i mean i still start trending stores like i'll start stores around like a seasonal product or like you know like a trending product and you know that it's not going to be around forever but like it's an easy way to cash in while you have it and especially like if you get to it early like your product you got to pretty early and uh, that definitely helps you out. Like you have a lot more competition now than you used to. Um, but like, I feel like when you got in, like that was definitely a good time. Oh yeah, for sure. Another huge factor that was put into it was that my ads are based around my target audience. It's not like a standard Facebook ad that can appeal from anyone from 14 to 65. Like it's literally, based on my target audience and only people that I target are going to be appealed by that ad. Yeah, that makes sense. And I think that's definitely like a big factor. Like you kind of got to understand your audience if you want to like sell to them the most effective way. So um, what do you really think? Like, I know, like I said, you're just kind of just getting into e-commerce, but like, what are your long-term goals like, do you want to stay in drop shipping or do you want to build like a long-term brand or like, where do you see your future in e-commerce? 
I see my future as a long-term brand. I want to have a huge brand. Um, drop shipping is basically a starting platform to try and learn your way around e-commerce and then it can be turned into so much like better and bigger than it is right now like drop shipping is basically just to start out and i see myself having a huge brand i'm working on getting a long-term store and turning it into my own brand and then taking off with it like there's so many good examples out there of this one of the biggest examples is Fashion Nova. Like they started out as a drop shipping store and they like they're literally shutting down retail stores with the e-commerce store. Yeah, I think you're definitely right there. Like drop shipping is definitely like it's easy, I guess, but it's not like sustainable. And even if you do like just start store after store after store, like there's only so much that you can build with that. And having one store that you can just like, that has like a solid foundation that's built upon like, you know, wholesale, like private label, like US fulfillment, like all that good stuff. Like that's going to allow you to scale it to a much, much higher level uh, than you would be able to with drop shipping. So are you planning on staying in e-commerce for like a long time or is this something that you just see as like a stepping stone to your like entrepreneurial journey? It's a little bit of both actually. I would like to stay in e-commerce, but I also, I feel like it's a good way to get capital to start your entrepreneur like journey. E-commerce is here right now and like you really don't know how long it's gonna be there. And also you kind of understand like how fast everything can go downhill and you can go from making a lot of money to zero money just in a second. Like an example is like when my Facebook got shut down, like you really understand that you can lose it all so fast. And I would definitely want to have other income streams besides e-commerce so that's why i'm saying both all right so what do you think is like i mean what is the biggest thing that you've learned that you would tell someone who's getting into drop shipping the biggest thing is to actually do it everyone says that they're in the learning phase i said that i was in the learning phase i was learning and i never created a store i was scared of spending the 30 dollars and losing it i was scared and that's not something you can be if you're going to be in e-commerce if you're going to be an entrepreneur you can't be scared of taking risks you can't be scared of investing in yourself because everything is going to pay off if you put the work into it like put all your time into it like if you really want it just do it and dedicate everything yeah i feel like the biggest thing is like you're not going to regret losing money you're gonna regret not trying you know yeah 100 percent. the biggest thing that i learned is that you can get everything back in this world but time you can get the money you lose back but you can't get the time back that you're not taking action because you only have so much time to do certain things for me i have a number of how many days i i have left until i graduate high school and I mark those days down every single day until I graduate because my goal is to not go to college and I can't waste any time at all. Because if I, if I slack off, take a month off, like that can literally send me to college. That's the way I picture it. Yeah, so it's kind of like the job, like that being scared of like having, I guess a normal life, you know, um, so that's really what like motivates you every day. Yeah, like you, you only live life once and why are you gonna live a life you don't wanna live? Yeah, I totally agree. Because you're gonna live your life for regret. Like you never wanna live life with regret. Just spend the money, invest in yourself, and just do it. Take the action and actually do it. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you took a lot of value out of seeing someone else who's young and who's driven and who actually like did the work and like got the results. 
So I really hope this motivated you and it taught you a lot about what it takes to become successful and how possible it is. I mean, really, like, did you think it was possible to make this amount of money in this amount of time? No, but if you believe it, you really can. Like, yeah. you speak everything into existence. That's something that he actually taught me. Yeah. You speak it all into existence. Definitely. All right, so if you guys want to go follow AD on Instagram, I'm going to throw it up here. It's just ad.webster. And um, I highly recommend you do that so he doesn't have to buy more fake followers. <laughs> Alright guys, you have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.